I want to get to some breaking news because we've been telling you about the situation in Ballard. Look at all the smoke, the fire trucks, the flooded streets. Again, this is the Ballard neighborhood of Seattle, and we understand 65% of Seattle fire responded to this area, and now businesses and apartments have been evacuated. Callie Greenberg has been out there all afternoon. So, Callie, what do you know right now? Uh, right now, what we know is they're still battling this fire. In fact, if you look, you can still see them pouring heavy amounts of water onto the rooftop. This is on Market Street and 24th Avenue. In fact, there's so much water that they've been pouring for about, uh, I'd say about three hours now. It is flooding 24th Avenue. Uh, here's what we know about what happened. Uh, the PIO for the Seattle Fire Department tells us that the flames were reported in the attic of the Supercuts here on Market Street. It then quickly spread to those other businesses. They say about five businesses have been impact, impacted. Thankfully, everyone was evacuated. No one was injured. We do know, however, that there was one Seattle firefighter who was taken to the hospital. That was purely precautionary. So this has been, they've been battling this fire since around noon. There's still a lot of work to be done. There are about five businesses here that appear to be destroyed, but it's been quite the scene for people who have been walking by. It's pretty intense watching this building just burn down. Um, trucks are all around it. I mean, they've got all the cranes hoisted up. Tons of water's blasting out. There's maybe like 10 fire trucks, maybe more. Ambulances, they've got air tanks bringing in continuous air for these firefighters. Now, what made this fire so difficult to battle is because it was in the attic, so it could only be attacked from above. And then the roof collapsed, which set into those businesses. If you look inside, they appear to be destroyed at this point. But as you mentioned, about 65 or two thirds, 65 percent of the entire Seattle Fire Department fleet was out here today battling this fire. No word yet on when the street will open back up. As you can see, it's still very active, so they're still working. We're going to hope to get you another update uh, for King 5 News at 5. For now, live in Ballard, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News. Now, Callie, I know this is a, a main, you know, the heart of Ballard. Yeah, you talked Street. about it starting in the Supercuts. What, do you know the names of any other businesses impacted by this? Sure, in fact, we can zoom in right here. You can see the kitchen in things. Uh, I believe there's a Puerto Rican restaurant next to it. There's a jewelry store. Uh, they say there were five businesses total and in fact, you can look right inside the kitchen in things there and you can just see how uh, destroyed it is on the inside. Really just a, a wow. sight to see. Um, it's a, a sad for the, what's happening here in Ballard. A lot of people are saying I go to these. I work in the area. I go to these businesses for lunch. I shop at these businesses and now just to see them destroyed like this. This is definitely a fire. They're not going to forget. All right, wow. Callie, thank you yeah. so much for that. Yeah, we should mention Glenn Farley uh, was also at the fire today. He actually took this video coming up at 4.30. He's going to tell us more about the impact on that uh, volunteer firefighter who just how happened to live nearby. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, if you want the latest, we have set up a keyword for you. You can just text the word FIRE to 206-448-4545. If you're concerned, you live in that area, you know somebody who does, you can uh, just text the word FIRE and we will send you the very latest. All right, but for now, let's get to our Fast Five. It's five headlines in the news today.